crowd is checking that in with the new board of men, and uh, we're going to be counting that. I'm the only sober guy in the band these days. Anyone else? Yes. Not me. What's up? I do. I'll probably need a little bit more depending on where he's at. This guy. Check, 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 check. Sounds pretty good so far. So far. I'm going to go so far. Huh. Not so bad. Check. Hello, hello, hello. Sounds good, though. Yeah, 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 yeah. Mm -hmm. Beer on the 
with big green nipples and biceps like Henry Rollins? Could she scream like a hyena in the summer of love? He said yes. Dick said boy, then you're higher. The dick side of mother.
while they saw green with that beat. And he started up a blowtorch and welded their bodies together. Stabbed them each 56 and a half times for each of the they took. And then he picked up the dead deer and he gave a mouth to snout resuscitation.
I remember when I first moved to San Diego It was back in 1978 And I would go to Jack Murphy To watch the Padres play a baseball game There was always one thing for sure Back then you could bring in a gallon of your own beer As long as it was in a plastic milk carton container they didn't care And I'd always bring in a transistor radio And I'd listen to Jerry Coleman call so much that he got, he actually got the number 13 tattooed on his bicep. Yeah! And I would like him to show you it. He's a, he's a teacher now, he teaches your kids. Would you show him your 13? Fades 
sat in the middle The way tracks supposed to The way tracks supposed to
I came home one Monday night as drunk as drunk could be. I saw a horse outside my door where my old horse should be. And I called my wife and I said to her, would you kindly tell to me? Well, there's a horse outside the door where my old horse should be. Why are you drunk, you drunk, you silly old fool? should be. back and forth and uh, this is we weren't training lines because he never did coke his drug of choice was alcohol 50% of the rug burns ended up in rehab <laughs> no, 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 look at him. where's Joe Daly where is Joe Daly he was like an honorary rug burn hey come here we used to always stay at Joe Daly's house in Chicago Anyways, um, and Joe Daly, I would say, 
just I just want to show up your house and have you have like an eight ball of coke waiting for me. And we'd be on the road and he would and we would drink together. He ended up in rehab too. And he was like an honorary rugburn, so now I can't do math that great. So I more than fifty percent. So anyways, so here's my eight year token. I'm out of here. You get it. Because I got nine years this year. But I would never recommend you guys to do this. I want you guys to get fucked up. Don't be quitters. We're losers. We had to quit. I would have died. I was a loser. I couldn't finish the fucking race. But don't you ever quit, you guys. We need you drinking. John Castro didn't quit. Fuck no. Ladies and gentlemen, I would like to introduce the band at this point of the show. To my right, he's a teacher at Oceanside High School. He's a man who goes to casinos and strip clubs. He's a man who recently went to rehab. He's a man who could have a huge afro if he wanted it, but he chooses not to. I love him very much. Please give it up for Dr. Robert Driscoll. Ladies and gentlemen, to my left, from New York City. And when I introduce him, I want him to dive out in the crowd, you guys can catch him. Once I say the name, when I say the name John Castro, he's gonna dive out and you'll catch him, but I gotta give a nice intro to him. Now this guy, come here John, put your face down and talk to me for a minute. Um, this guy joined the Rugburns years ago, and when he joined the Rugburns, he was a non-drinking vegan. Now he's a crack-smoking, sausage-eating, fucking New York living, goddamn, movie soundtrack playing son of a bitch. And I love him. Please get up from New York City, John Castro. Institute. He has his PhD. He lived in Nicaragua. He was responsible for running guns to the Contras back in the Reagan era. And he didn't even know what it meant, but he was doing it because he needed money. This guy is responsible for the deaths of over 50 pedestrians who have walked these fine streets of San Diego. <laughs> but he drove percent of the 50 people to the hospital and they died en route. So he did try. He's a humanitarian. Ladies and gentlemen, from San Marcos, California, please give it up to Jeff Hoffett, a.k.a. Stinky. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, we have a published author in the house whose book you will be able to get, and this is very important, because I love him very much, Tending Bar tonight, right back there, ladies and gentlemen, give it up to Ben! Ask him, ask him about his book. He will get you a copy, you will pay him, and this is gonna be a good thing because we have to keep these people reading or Dr. Robert Driscoll's out of a job. We've had so much fun playing for you guys over the years, since the days at Smedley's Baseball Inn at Kelly's Pub, all around the city. This is the 25 year anniversary of the Casbah. And it's January 14th, it's Casbah Day in San Diego. The mayor made a proclamation. It's amazing, they have their own day. That is so cool. And uh, I would just like to say, my name is Stephen Joseph Joshua Poltz. And, uh, I'm gonna wear the exact same clothes this Sunday I did last Sunday when the Chargers played. So we're gonna we're gonna do this because of my clothes that I wear. And uh and so anyways, as I was talking about earlier before I introduced the band, we wrote this song about the riots 
and uh, we were disheartened about what happened when the police officers beat Rodney King and we wrote a song and, and we were going back over our old canon of songs and we said, man, let's do rioting. This was a cool song and we rediscovered it the other night and uh, I'm so excited to play it for you. We had to look up the words online. <laughs> Thank God for smartphones. Google didn't exist. We we existed before Google. Yeah. One, two, three.
So I got into Bill Clinton peacemaking mode, and I sent a group text to the Chucky Brothers. However, Bill Clinton couldn't have sent a group text back then because group texting did not exist. But if it did, he would have been sexting a lot of people, and he would have been getting laid a lot more. Boom! So anyways, I sent a group text out to the Chucky Brothers, and I said, Hey, Tim Mays asked the Rugburns to play the 25th anniversary of the Caspa. And since we're going to get back together and do it, I thought it would be only apropos if you guys opened the show because you opened for us years ago at your first gig. And so, I got radio silence from two of the Chucky Brothers who were not speaking at the time, but the drummer and the bass player right away texted me back and said, hell yes. So then, I had to call up Chris Arabi. I said, Chris Arabi, you need to call Patrick Dennis. I called up Patrick Dennis. Patrick Dennis said, I do not want to talk to Chris Arabi. Chris Arabi said, I do not want to talk to Patrick Dennis. I said to Chris Arabi, you need to call him. He goes, why can't he call me? I said, listen, dude. You need to call him because my friend just died of cancer and life's going to go by too fast. You guys need to talk to each other, so you be the one to call him. And if you call him, he's probably going to yell at you a little bit. You need to picture yourself as a burner and keep it on low. Repeat after me. I'm a burner. And Hoppy got hypnotized by my voice. And Hoppy goes, I'm a burner. It's on low. I'm a burner. I'm on low. And then I called up Patrick. I said, Patrick, you cannot get too pissed at him when he calls. And Patrick said, but he wrote me an email once and it made me really mad. I said, Patrick, my friend died of cancer. What if Hoppy died of cancer? You never would have made up with him. He goes, and then I said, I want you to close your eyes and do an experiment with me. He said, okay. And I said, close your eyes and picture the Casbah, January 10th. At the end of the show, we all have our arms around each other. You guys have tears in your eyes. The audience is sweaty. It was a night of joy. I said, picture that. And Patrick said to me, you fucker, I'll do it. So, I said, you guys need to go to breakfast. So they went to the mission on University Avenue, and I showed up an hour later, took pictures of them. They were arm in arm, already making plans for the songs they were going to play. And I love them both very much, and I would like to extend a heartfelt thanks to the Truckee Brothers for playing this show tonight. Thank you, Truckees. I love you. I love you. Christopher Hoppy. You are a peacemaking man. I love that about you. It's one of the coolest things. I've always loved you. After this, we're going to go to the studio diner tonight and eat pancakes like we always do after the shows. I love that place. Isn't that on Ruffin? Studio diner. I'm Wynn. Okay. Tomorrow night, we're playing at the Belly Up. For the country, Dick Montana, Buddy Blue, Ball, Bash, 
with the Beat Farmers. We're just doing really small sets in between the bands, rodeo clown style. It's going to be so much fun, and I hope you guys come to the show because it's, it's going to be extra special. I'm going to tune down the D for this song because this is a song called This Flood, and it just sounds good when it's down in D. This is a dirty, nasty song, and it makes me happy.
motorcycle.
Come up to the layout and see what's on the slider. I see you shiver with anticipation. Not the symptom. Just a sweet show after the show it will be available due to the lovely recordings of Christopher Modal and it will be back there by the merch area and you can wear it on your wrist oh let me see that real quick um so we have these shirt I don't oh that's it okay good we have these rubber shirts right here and these were uh, drawn by Sean Ralph's lovely wife Laurel Warden a lot of Rugburns fans had sex after shows because they got drunk and they had kids so this is the 2014 Rugburn edition of a couple pushing a baby carriage and it says the Rugburns. It's very nice and some sort of ominous underneath. And then tonight's show, if you want a copy of it, it comes on a four gig uh, flash drive that you wear around your wrist. And she has it like that. And you can have tonight's show. Chris Modo, we got those uh, new t-shirts and we got some cool posters and stuff. So. I, I just want to say how much fun we've had tonight, and it's been such a good time getting to know you guys over the years. I wish there was a place Sunday we could all hang out and eat pancakes and bacon, because that's what I had last Sunday when the Chargers won, so I need to eat the same meal, because it was uh, banana pancakes at my friend Chris DeMoose's house. So if you guys could check in with me on Facebook or something, I, we can talk about what's happening at 1.30 in the afternoon. And... Uh, I just want to say it's been such a pleasure. I met Rob Trisco years ago at University of San Diego. We were students there playing guitar in the hallway, and we formed a classical duet together. And uh, then we played in the church at the Catholic Mass. The Rugburns were formed in a Catholic Mass, actually, which is kind of crazy. And then we met Stinky through Buddy Blue from the Beat Farmers. And uh, John Castro answered an ad in the Penny Saver thinking he was coming by a juicer. And then we said, what dude, you play bass? And he sort of ended up with us by default and we love him so much. I talked him into staying Sunday so he could watch the game with me because I wanted his companionship. So I'm excited about that. Are we gonna play another gig? Sunday night, you want to? Yeah, we could. Okay, let's play a house concert. Can we play your house Sunday night? Are you guys free? Dude. That'd be fun to play somebody's backyard patio. A lot of volunteers here. Is Sean Rolfe still here? He's cool. I love Sean Rolfe.
you very much. We need to do one encore song because it just feels too good, so we're going to put our guitars down and bow and then do an encore. special. After this, we want to hang out with you back there, if that's cool. Till the next day. 
direction wonder why you have it then the train conductor says take a break driver aid driver aid take a break oh yeah 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 yeah
show. That early show sucks our dicks. This show kicked that other show's ass. I love you guys. We'll be back there. If you want a copy of tonight's show, I promise you, you can earn it on that. Pick up one of the t-shirts from my niece or just come let's post for pictures for Instagram. Peace be with you. Have a good time. Yeah. I wonder if I should leave my face set up here.